Sorry. All right, well, next step, um, we have a team that picked a really ambitious project in a new stack. So we um, teach React here, and they decided to use WebGL through Pixie. Um, and they came up um, and they wanted to do a take on a popular game and add their own twist. Um, and they've come up with something that's really pretty and cool. Uh, and let's take a look at it. This is Global Kitchen. Hello, everyone. My name is Layla Hedges, and I'm delighted to introduce you to my teammates, Jennifer Neal, Anule Nduku, and Cecilia Chang. We made Global Kitchen, a restaurant simulator game designed to introduce players to international cuisines that they otherwise might not get to experience. We knew from the start that we wanted to make a game that would be educational, but also fun. So we decided to draw inspiration from the popular PC and mobile game Cooking Dash and adapt its story to include unique international recipes. We also felt it was important to maintain a connection to the real world by including the actual recipes. Uh, we built the game using Pixie.js, which is a JavaScript-based framework for rendering graphics using WebGL. And we used this in combination with Redux, which held our game state and dispatched actions. All of the game logic and mechanisms for the game were written primarily in pure JavaScript. Jennifer. Thank you, Layla. So in our game, you play as the head chef in a restaurant racing to serve your hungry customers. Here you see our recipe book, and you can click to select a, to view a particular recipe's instructions. We also include the link to the full recipe so you too can make jollof rice when you go home after playing our game. You can click to cook the recipe on that page or back in the previous page, and then you'll want to pick up your ingredients from the sous chef and race to each appropriate station to cook your recipe in time. If you make it very quickly, you'll get an extra dollar over the base price for every second left on the clock. Yeah, success. Anjali, can you tell us a little bit more about our process? Thanks, Jen. Because Pixie.js is a framework, not a game engine, it doesn't provide any prefabs or atlases. This means we spent lots of time building our sprite atlas and programming our chef movement with asynchronous function calls. To keep track of our recipes and customers in play, we had to figure out how to use Redux um, and its immutable state to drive the Pixie mutable state. We had many interesting and in-depth discussions about gameplay and how it would flow um, because each game mechanism triggers a chain of other game mechanisms. So it was important to know the complete flow from the very beginning. This process forced us to dig deeper into JavaScript and object-oriented programming. Thank you, Anule. As we continue improving this game, we hope to broaden our selection of recipes to reach all corners of the globe. We'd also like to work on scaling and to make the game multiplayer via sockets so that other players can join you in the kitchen and help you cook. You can try the game out yourself at global-kitchen.herokuapp.com and check out our code on GitHub. As someone who is new to games, it was definitely a great learning experience building our game from scratch, and I had an amazing time working with these three talented ladies. Thank you very much for listening, and we hope you enjoyed the presentation. All right, very, very nicely done. I like the graphics. I like the uh, the gameplay mechanic. I like how they integrate the recipe with knowing the recipe and actually playing the game, like learning stuff while you're um, while you're playing. Yeah. yeah, very cool. It's another deceptively um, simple kind of game. It's like all timer based, but obviously, if you get there's a lot of subtle risk conditions in that, right? Like yeah, and then uh, well, I, I mean, I I um. I was gonna say that I like my my secret like time wasting thing for many years were were some of these or you know some games like this on um, on Facebook including Farmville yeah. and, and Dynadash and so uh, don't look me up on Farmville my farm is way too way too featured um, so you'll know uh, how long I farmed 
Um, oh, so you're embarrassed that your farm is impressive. It, it's too yeah. impressive. It's, I mean, I, my excuse to my wife was always that, you know, my ancestors were farmers. And so this is the only way that I can. <laughs> he would never admit, he, I would show up every, it's like he would never admit he had an addiction, but it was kind of borderline. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad that that's over with. But, but, um, but yeah, the, I feel like I would be addicted to this as well. All of our ancestors were farmers, right? That's, uh, that's, that's actually, that's, that's very true. Um, zing. 